Hello. Let's sew together a soft shell jumpsuit. For me personally, such a jumpsuit is absolutely irreplaceable. It is warm and comfortable in cool weather. Playing in wet grass is just great. The jumpsuit is easy to machine wash, dries quickly and is ready for outdoor play again. The jumpsuit also has a comfortable back flap with a zipper. This is a secret for WC. But can be sewn without flap. I tried to make the pattern so that it was easy and pleasant to sew. Processing pockets and sewing in a zipper is extremely simple. Link to the pattern in the description under the video. For sewing we need two tops front part. Two middle front parts. Two pockets and four flap parts. Two front pieces of pants. One piece of the back with a fold. Two backs of pants. One zipper bar. Two sleeves. Two collar pieces. Two side parts, one central part of the hood, and two of its front parts. Process the flaps first. Mark and sew on the flaps. Now it's time for pockets. I swept the edge of the pocket with an overlock. But it can be trimmed with curly scissors, processed with a bias tape, or simply left as it is. Soft shell does not crumble. When you decided how to process the edge, it must be bent by 1 cm and stitched. Connect the middle parts of the front and pockets. Connect the top and middle parts of the front. Shell thick fabric. 
Therefore, you need to cut off the allowances between layers, where there are many layers. Stitched if desired. Connect the front of the pants. Connect the side and center parts of the hood. lock seams, but can be processed with keeper tape or cut with curly scissors. Make marks on the front of the hood. They need to be combined with the side seams of the hood. front pieces along the front edge. Top stitch a detail. Connect the details of the hood. Now you need to sew one collar piece to the hood.
resulting part into the neckline of the front. But not completely. Measure off the desired length of the lightning. It should be about half a centimeter shorter than the resulting front piece. The end of the zipper needs to be treated with a piece of main fabric. on the first half of the zipper. Zip up and mark against horizontal seams. all marks and sew on the second half of the zipper. must match. Sew on the front of the pants. Stitch the seam. 
marks on the back. a drawstring and so on. Tied elastic band 1 inch or 2 and a half centimeters wide. Choose the length of the elastic band individually. Make straps from a dense elastic band. Fasten the upper part of the hole and the lower part directly under the drawstring. the backs of the pants. Overcast the top cut with an overlock. The bottom of the plank must be treated with a 1 cm wide tape. to the plank with a zipper. Retreat from the edge by the width of the seam allowance.
a zipper to the back. Forget to cut off excess layers. When the extra layer is cut off, the zipper should be stitched to the seam allowance. Fasten the second part of the zipper and mark the center. Align the mark with the seam, and sew the second zipper to the back of the pants. of the zipper you need to fasten. Sew shoulder and side seams. Sew the bottom seam of the pants. to the end. out of a 1 cm wide tape. Sew 
the same keeper tape to the bottom of the collar. The tape should protrude slightly, and the edge of the collar. Sew on the second part of the collar, aligning the center marks. Sew the bottom of the collar to the seam allowance of the neckline a little short of the zipper. side seams of the sleeves. Make the cuts with a tight elastic band 1 inch wide. The length of the elastic depends on your preference. to unplug the overlock knife before sewing on the elastic, but it can also be sewn on a sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. Fold the elastic and sew on the sewing machine with a straight stitch. We need to sew the sleeves. Align the highest point of the sleeve with the shoulder seam. And align the seam of the sleeve with the mark we put earlier.
remains is to make the cuffs of the pants. Make them in the same way as for sleeves.